Instead of writing out an assignment with a variable involving itself, we can use a Java shorthand operator. These are nice ways to save a few keystrokes as we type out our instructions, and are particularly useful if we use long variable names. Take the following statement, for example. We want to take a variable and add 1 to it. Instead of writing x equals x plus 1, we can write x plus equals 1. This can be applied in other ways. For instance, we could be repeatedly adding the value stored in x to another variable called sum. This can be written sum equals sum plus x, or we can write sum plus equals x. There are similar shorthand operators for all the basic arithmetic operations. We most commonly see plus equals, but you also have minus equals, times equals, divided by equals, and modulus equals. Another very common set of shorthand operators are the increment and decrement operators. These are used to take an integer value and raise it either by 1 or decrease it by 1. For example, we can rewrite x equals x plus 1 as x plus plus, and we can rewrite x equals x minus 1 by x minus minus. For those of you who have heard of the programming language C++, this name stems from this notation, which is being applied to the C programming language in this case on which C++ was built. The last note regarding the increment and decrement op operators is that they can be applied as a prefix or a postfix to a variable. The effect is subtle, but by placing it before the variable, we express the desire to complete the assignment before the rest of the statement. Placing the symbols after the variable tells the computer to complete the assignment after the rest of the statement has completed. Most of the time, we use the increment or decrement operators in a statement by itself, but you may run across more advanced pieces of code that combine this operator with other code segments in a single statement. Examples are shown here. In our first example, we assign the value 7 to the variable x. On the next line, we wish to take x and multiply it by 8, and we apply the prefix increment to x. This means that we should add 1 to x and store it back into the variable x before we complete the multiplication. As a result, x is incremented to 8, and the result of 8 times 8 is 64, which is stored in y. In the second example, we store 7 back into x. And here you see, as we are completing our operations on the right-hand side, we use the postfix increment operator with x. Then we multiply by 8. What this means is, we complete the multiplication first, taking 7 times 8 and storing 56 in the result in z. Then we increment x on the same line and store it in that value, leaving x as 8, just as it was in the previous step. The only difference is when that storing was applied. Next, we'll look at another family of variable types, known as reference types.